The Light Attack – Armed Reconnaissance or Light Air Support program is a United States Air Force program for a new light counterinsurgency, ground attack and reconnaissance aircraft. The aircraft should be capable of finding, tracking, and attacking targets either on its own or in support of ground forces. The program formally began in July 2009 with a request for information. No request for proposal has yet been issued. Approximately 100 aircraft were expected to be ordered, but USAF has reduced the number of aircraft sought to 15 aircraft. The new, 15 aircraft program is focused at training pilots, not a combat mission. This program has also been called the OAX program or the ATEX program, although the reduced scope of the LA program has forced the USAF to push an OAX program indefinitely into the future. History The 2009 Light Attack – Armed Reconnaissance Program was born out of the need for a new close air support aircraft that was suited to the type of combat the United States was facing in post-2003 invasion Iraq and Afghanistan. The close air support role was carried out by several different aircraft, including the A-10 Thunderbolt II, the B-1B Lancer, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, and the F-15E Strike Eagle. While all of these aircraft are capable of close air support, only the A-10 was purpose-built for the type of support needed by ground troops in a low-intensity conflict or coin counterinsurgency operation for example these aircraft often do not have the loiter time needed for these missions and require aerial refueling support making their missions more expensive additionally long loiter missions use up an airframe service life faster than expected requiring replacement this may cause issues in the future as some aircraft, such as the A-10, are out of production and cannot be replaced. To solve this problem, the United States Air Force released a request for information (RFI) on July 27, 2009, requesting details of a possible light attack armed reconnaissance aircraft that could be outfitted to specific requirements. See requirements below and enter into service in 2013. The Air Force planned to acquire approximately 100 aircraft in the RFI, but has since reduced the initial requirement to 15 aircraft. A more detailed request for proposals (RFP) has not been released as of September 2010. In 2011, the House Armed Services Committee moved to block funding for the program until the requirements and acquisition were validated. In November 2011, it was revealed that the Beechcraft AT-6B had been excluded from the competition by the USAF, leaving the Embraer A-29 the probable winner, with a contract expected to be awarded in December 2011. According to Gao, the Air Force concluded that HBDC Hawker Beechcraft Defense Company had not adequately corrected deficiencies in its proposal. In this regard, the agency concluded that multiple deficiencies and significant weaknesses found in HBDC's proposal make it technically unacceptable and results in unacceptable mission capability risk. Hawker Beechcraft's protest against its exclusion was dismissed. On December 30, 2011, the USAF announced that the A 29 had been awarded the contract. But the contract award was disputed and a stop work was issued the following January. All motions will be due to U.S. Court of Federal Claim by March 6, 2012. A reawarding of the contract was expected in January 2013, but was delayed a few months. The A-29 was reawarded the contract on February 27, 2013 and Beechcraft again challenged the contract. 
but the USAF ordered that the construction start anyway. Beechcraft's allies in the Kansas Republican congressional delegation then called for the work to be stopped, while Embraer's Floridan congressional allies praised the USAF's move. The USAF has instructed for work to continue unless a federal court orders otherwise. The United States Court of Federal Claims upheld the USAF's decision to proceed with the contract work. Topic: OAX demonstration. In summer 2017, the US Air Force will conduct flight demonstrations at Holloman AFB, New Mexico for the OAX capability assessment for light attack and armed reconnaissance missions from austere locations. It will choose up to 4 industrials to bring one or two off the shelf low cost light attack aircraft for a 300 aircraft need. It is required to have a 90% availability day and night, fly 900 hours per year for 10 years, take off on 6,000 feet runways, burn a maximum of 1,500 pound per hour of fuel over 2.5 hour and its survivability should be evaluated by its infrared and visual signature. Current competitors include Embraer and Sierra Nevada's A-29 Super Tucano as well as the Textron Aviation Defense at 6 Wolverine turboprop and the American made Textron Aviation Defense Scorpion light jet. Other possibilities include the Leonardo M346F, the Bay Systems Hawk, the Boeing OV-10X, a Boeing, Saab TX variant, a Lockheed Martin, Chi T-50 variant, the IOMAX Archangel, the L3 Technologies OA-8 Longsword, the Northrop Grumman, Scaled Composites Ares, the Chi Car-1, the Thai Hercus C, and the FMAI A-58 Puckeraw, the South African High Wing, Twin boom pusher turboprop Paramount M Worry developed with Boeing could be evaluated too, but Boeing won't take part of the flight demonstration. Lockheed neither, as the T-50A may not meet runway and fuel burn requirements, but this isn't ruling out one or the other participating in OAX later. Four contenders were displayed on August 9, the Textron Scorpion Jet, Embraer, Sierra Nevada A-29 Super Tucano, Textron AT-6B and L-3 Longsword turboprops, graded on basic surface attack and close air support, both including at night daytime ground assault and rescue escort, but also austere environment performance, rapid turn rate, weapons qualifications, sensors and communication systems, low field operating costs and affordable upfront procurement cost. In February 2018, after selecting the two finalists, the U.S. Air Force decided against holding a planned combat demonstration to aid in selecting an aircraft type on combat performance and opted instead to work closely together with the manufacturers of the two selected finalist aircraft to determine the best aircraft and proceed with rapid acquisition. <laughs> Second stage In April 2018, after deciding to forego a combat demonstration, the U.S. Air Force decided to advance with a second phase of the LAR program. The second phase involves examining sustainment requirements, the ability to network with friendly aircraft, and operating costs. Requirements. The selected LAR aircraft was intended to meet several key requirements, including Rough field operations. The RFI requires that the aircraft be capable of operating from semi-prepared runways such as grass or dirt surfaces. Defensive package. 
The aircraft will have to include several defensive measures, including a Missile Approach Warning System a Radar Warning Receiver and chaff and flare dispensers. Armored cockpit and engine. Long loiter time. The aircraft must be able to fly 5-hour sorties with 30-minute fuel reserves. Range. The aircraft must have a 900 nautical mile 1,600 km ferry range. Data link capability. The aircraft is required to have a line of sight data link with beyond line of sight desired capability of transmitting and receiving still and video images. Intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR capabilities. The aircraft will have to laser track and designate targets, as well as track targets using electro-optical and infrared video, still images. Weaponry. The LAR aircraft will need at least four weapons stores capable of carrying a variety of weapons, including 500 pounds bombs, 2.75-inch rockets, rail-launched missiles, and illumination flares. The aircraft will also be capable of aerial gunnery, either with an integrated or pylon-mounted gun, desired traits but not requirements included Infrared signature suppression for the engines 30,000 feet 9,000 meters operational ceiling 6,000 feet 1,800 meters takeoff and landing distance Aerobatic capabilities capable of maneuvers such as the Immelman Turn, Cuban 8, and Split S. Sources Competitors Finalists The following aircraft entered the competition and were selected for final evaluation after having met all requirements Hawker Beechcraft at 6 BTHE AT-6B is a light attack variant of the T-6 Texan II trainer aircraft used by the United States Air Force, and as such, it was considered to be a favorite for LAR program, until it was eliminated in November 2011 that the USAF later found a mistake in its paperwork. A second contest was initiated and concluded with selection of the A-29 in 2013, to be provided to the Afghan Air Force, with pilots trained in the United States. A-29 Super Tucanoth Embraer Super Tucano is a light attack and reconnaissance aircraft that is already in use by several nations. In fact, the United States Navy has already leased several of the aircraft to evaluate their suitability in support of special operations missions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Failed bids. The following aircraft entered the competition but were denied final evaluation due to not meeting one or more requirements. Textron Airland Scorpion In addition to the AT-6, Textron will demonstrate the capabilities of the Scorpion twin-engine two-seat attack jet, expected to easily outperform the propeller planes. Textron secretly put together the Scorpion with off-the-shelf aircraft parts in just two years' time, and presumably would require more time and money to put it into production than the AT-6 or A-29. OV-10X Boeing proposed an updated version of their OV-10 Bronco aircraft, currently called the OV-10X for the LA competition. A-67 Dragon The A-67 Dragon is a counterinsurgency aircraft currently in development and is slated to begin low-rate initial production in the fourth quarter of 2010. 
The A67 can achieve 11 hours of loiter on target on internal fuel and can achieve air speeds ranging from 85 to 370 knots. Air tractor at 802 Earth militarized version of this crop duster will include up to 11 hardpoints under the wing and body for bombs, rockets, and machine guns. The air tractor aircraft is not planned to include an ejection seat or pressurization systems, both of which are mentioned in the Air Force RFI, but the company predicts that their proposal will cost half as much as other competitors. Alenia Airmarque M346 Master The M346 Master was the first jet-powered aircraft proposed for the competition, developed by the Italian Alenia Airmarque Company, and is powered by a pair of Honeywell F124 turbofan engines. The effective range of the aircraft currently is reported to be 1,890 km 1,170 miles, while its armament configuration is centered around nine hardpoints. <laughs> <laughs> 